this is what she deserves! <laughs> <laughs> She's doing it! Yes! We have seen each other grow, and like for her, and all of you baddies going to grad school, like, mm. I literally, yeah. it makes my heart so warm. Thank you for her. It's a lifelong friend, y'all. Right. And I wish her nothing but the best. Good morning. <laughs> I look so like crazy. Actually, I look good. This is me in my natural state. A lot of you guys haven't seen me in this state, but um, this is my natural hair. I actually cut my hair not too long ago and it's already growing back like crazy. So I'm really happy about that. Today is Monday, August 14th. It is 9 a.m. We're back. Um, I have a new device, my iPad. So guys, I'm enrolling into class right now, but I'm at quick check because I'm supposed to be on my way, I'm supposed to be on my way to get my hair done, and I was supposed to be at the hair place in New York at 8 a.m. Tomorrow is the day. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I was supposed to do a maintenance vlog, but... It's just gonna be me getting my hair done. I was supposed to get my lashes done today. Don't think I'm gonna have time. I decided very last minute that I wanted my lashes done for back to school, which is bad. Got my nails done though. But tonight I'm supposed to meet up with my friends for one last hurrah. Um, we're just going out for some drinks, nothing crazy. And then tomorrow morning, I'm moving into my townhouse at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York, upstate. And I'm so excited. Like, it just doesn't feel real. I'm gonna have like crazy imposter syndrome when I actually like settle down. But I'm gonna just take y'all on this journey. Morning. <laughs> My hair is done. I was literally, first of all, good morning. Today, today I'm moving to New York. New York State, I'm gonna be a New Yorker. Like, nobody could tell me I'm not a New Yorker for real. Like, I've been in Jersey all my life. And now that I'm moving to New York, it's just like, I don't know anything besides Jersey. So this is going to be an experience. But as you guys know, I'm going to Cornell for my master's and I got a townhouse. So I'm really excited for this journey. Um, I'm excited to see what the future has to hold for me. I'm so blessed that I even got this opportunity to go to Cornell that I got accepted and I'm blessed that I have the most amazing family and friends to bring with me along this journey it's just so like I feel like I'm gonna have um what is that thing called when you're you don't feel like what's happening is real um, I feel like I'm gonna have that when I actually get there. Right now, we're still at home, but the car is all packed up. Last night, I went out with my friends for the last time for a while. Um, my college friends and my hometown friends. But my hometown friends are coming with me, actually, to Ithaca. Surprise! So, I'm so excited that I get to show them around a little bit, because the next time I probably will see them after this time will probably be like... A month or more from now so I'm so excited to just show them around a little bit before they go back um, it's so crazy cuz I'm all like the whole summer I was like yeah I'm going to Cornell in the fall I'm going to Cornell in the fall uh, the fall is here it's still summertime but like I'm going today August 15th is my moving day it's 9 a.m. I was supposed to move in at 9 a.m. 
but you know we on african people black people time like everything that i had at Rutgers, i'm not bringing because i just want a fresh start you know i just want a fresh start so later this week i'm gonna show you guys the move-in process hopefully later this week or early next week my room will actually be like done or almost done i, I want to get a new mirror maybe a vanity for for me to do makeup so yeah i'm excited last night i had a going away dinner but it was just like really chill which is how i wanted it to be i don't want it to be like a big big thing because i'm gonna be back so yeah i had a little bit of just like hookah and drinks with my girls and some food the food was really good if y'all are in new jersey in the clifton area y'all gotta go to made in miami it's a new restaurant it's it was really good and the vibes were good they played um hispanic music and afro beats my favorite it was a good time seeing all my friends before i you know open up this next chapter and i'll be back though for sure i don't know when but i'll be back what's up guys it's the cornell vlog officially the road trip has just commenced we're Ooh. coming back from mcdonald's with our brekkie yes. mcdonald's in ledgewood get your customer service up though sorry <laughs> that wasn't the best i won't name names but if you were working that uh tuesday shift in the morning Ooh. just <laughs> count your days rachel how are you feeling cornell girl I feel really good. The journey has just begun. Literally. We have two hours, closer to three hours to drive. So we're going to be in this car for a while. But Nicole, how you feeling? I don't know how many times I've said this, but I'm so excited for Rachel. Mm -hmm. If I had a dollar, I'd be <laughs> fucking rich. She took the phone. For her, it's a lifelong friend, y'all. Right. And I wish her nothing but the best. I'm gonna cut it short because I really have to go to the bathroom. Oh my god. But I love you. I'll see some words love too. You, Rachel. Love you guys, guys um, so much. For everybody watching this video, you might not know Rachel personally, or you may know her from <laughs> Rutgers, where she was Rutgers so Princess. My bitch is going to Cornell. As she should. This was destined written in the stars since we were in little first grade fucking babies. Third yeah. grade babies. I knew Rachel was gonna be doing something big and as she said, I'm really proud of her. Um, I can't wait to see the things that Rachel does. She already has some things in store for you guys. The next few vlogs, just to look out. Yeah. This is what she deserves! <laughs> <laughs> She's doing it! Yes! Yes! Doing yes! It. <laughs> She's doing it. It's such a blessing to be by her side with this. Yeah, in this man. journey, like, yeah. we have seen each other grow. And like, for her, and all of you baddies going to grad school, like, mm -hmm. I literally yeah. makes my heart so warm to see my bitches grow. We, are the, we are the new generation. We are the new generation. And I can't wait for like a year or two from now because it's up. It's up. It's only up from here. It's up. It's only up from here. So to even be in this car ride and this road trip says a lot about our friendship and how much we love each other because I wanted I did not want to miss this yeah. did not want to miss this I took off a work Mwah. I love you yeah me too <laughs> I quit my job for this I, I argue with my co-worker <laughs> now switch she, she, she's yeah. probably yeah. actually did them okay so what we'll update you when we're about an hour and 30 whatever for anything interesting happenings but thanks for riding along with us dropping up our Cornell Princess. Bye. 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 No. Don't get it. Okay, bye. My God, this reminds me. Actually, according to Rachel's parents, so they kept adding on minutes and minutes to our trip, but we finally have less than an hour to go. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was crazy. We're literally, where even is Utica? Like, what is that? If anywhere Utica, Utica University. What's that time there for? We're going there for a quick second. I also found out that I lost my wallet. I don't have my wallet with me right now. I don't have my driver's license, my credit cards. I have zero things. But it's okay, fresh star, literally. Like, got me a Nikki cam. <laughs> she just turns over. Yo, are you good?
So guys, we're in Target shopping for essentials yes, for a new townhouse. The bitch live in a townhouse. Let's get into it, guys. A whole townhouse. <laughs> but guys, it's been such a stressful day. But I'm starting to relax and like relieve myself a little bit. I'm just really worried about my wallet. Cause like, how am I supposed to go anywhere? The wallet is what broke her. <laughs> yeah. What broke her. That one was just my. That was my breaking point. And I low-key have a meeting in an hour, but I'm just not I making it. She did. I'm just not making Is it. Is it one of those? What'd you say to me? Yo, this random lady just told me to shut up. What'd you say to me? Shut I up. I have a camera. I have a camera. I just got you saying that to me. Can you can you say hi to my YouTube channel? Don't touch my camera. This woman just touched me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying. I'm calling the police. I'm just gonna throw my camera. What'd you say? Okay guys, wait, wait. Okay guys, this is our time to record. This is our final goodbye. Rachel, we're gonna miss you. Yeah, this we're is gonna, gonna be it you. for all the love and laughter until next time. We will see each other very, very soon. <laughs> but I love these girls. I'm very grateful that they came. <laughs> I'm very grateful that they came. And you know, help me unpack for my family. Mm -hmm. My sister's in the back, just waiting for them to leave. Yeah. They're bringing in. It's time for us to go. <laughs> Bye. And then afterwards, I took my friends to like the Ithaca Commons, just so they could see a little bit about like what Cornell is and stuff, or just like the downtown area. I just took them to see so they could see the downtown area, and we went out to eat with my family. Um, we went to, I don't know the name of the place. I would probably give it like a 6 out of 10. It could have been seasoned a little bit more. And I think I got the sweet and sour stir fry chicken. And I think that, yeah, it just could have been seasoned a little bit more. Oh, I don't know if I told y'all this, but actually y'all probably seen this in the vlog. But y'all know how I forgot my whole wallet in Jersey. I forgot my whole wallet in Jersey, like. But luckily my mom found it today. It was right by our bar in the basement. Uh, my dad has already shipped it overnight. So I should be expecting it tomorrow morning. This is the real Rachel Gifty. Very beautiful, I know. But anyway, y'all, I'm just really like, I'm blessed, I'm really blessed. I'm blessed to have such great friends and an amazing family. Like, my family all came through for me yesterday, drove up three hours to Cornell, and helped me settle in. And it was like, the weather wasn't even good yesterday. Today it looks a little bit better outside, but I haven't been outside yet. But as I said, it's day two. Today is pretty much a chill day for me, because I think people are still moving in. So I have orientation tomorrow and Friday. I'm very excited to meet the people that are in my program and meet my cohort specifically. I hope everybody's really cool. I think they will be. So I'm excited for that. And today actually at 6 p.m. I'm going out because they're having like a pizza party for us or something. So I said, I'll definitely show my face to that. And yeah, but I'm in the process of ordering stuff for my room. I had work today actually, you know, you guys know I work from home now. So, I clocked in a few hours today. We'll do a few more tomorrow, the next day, the next. Let me tell y'all, like, yesterday I was just so emotional, like, I was just so emotional. I kept thinking, like, while my grandma was praying for me, 
I started to cry. And then me and my friends got in the car. We are playing music. I started crying again. So I'm like, damn. Like, when are we ever going to do this again? Like, yeah. And this is news to me. And I just felt like, I just feel, I just feel so like, like a lost puppy I guess because I don't know what this journey has to hold for me I think it'll be a good journey for sure but I just have to get settled I want my room to be done I want to meet some people but yeah I have a really good um community around me I can't believe this is real like I'm looking around my room and I'm like where am I? Like, this feels like a hotel. <laughs> I'm going to send you the question because the answer is in the question. Make sure the answer is silent and the word condemn. Which letter is silent? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, I just came back from the first Sloan event. Well, we were just meeting the people in my cohort and it was like really cool i didn't record much it was really cool like everybody's so chill easy to talk to we're all just getting to know each other and i haven't had this in a long time this is what i love i love meeting new people and like vibing with them like that is so cool so i really had a good time um some of the people that i i knew some of the people i knew from an event that we went to the symposium that i went to in march the woman in healthcare leadership symposium that I went to that you guys saw in one of my other vlogs. So I saw some of the people there that I met then, but most of the people I did not know. Like I was like, wow. So it was just really cool. Everybody was so nice and so chill. I just feel so good. I feel so good that I got the chance to be around new people in a new environment and get to know other people like that is what I love and everybody is I like everybody <laughs> that's that's all I gotta say like tomorrow or in the coming days I definitely have to take my own time and just explore the campus because I don't want to be confined just to like the health administration world and my room which is like, it's still good because like that's my program, those are my people, but I just want to see the campus. I want to see everybody. So I'm just, I'm just, it's hitting me now. Like I'm really somewhere. <laughs> Where am I? Last time. What's my hair? Nice. <laughs> good morning. So I am at Cornell now, day three. And today is orientation day one. It is August 17th. You can't see it, but it's August 17th. It's 9 a.m. Um, I was supposed to actually go to... It was an optional dean's welcome. Like, the dean was going to give a speech. The dean of the health administration program, I guess. Or the dean of the school. I don't even know. And I wanted to see it. But I went to the wrong building. I went to the wrong building. And I rushed out the house. I got on the bus today as well. Um, so I'm happy about that, that I took the bus. And it was for free because I'm a first year. But after that, I went to the wrong building. So I was like, I'm hungry. I didn't even eat. I was supposed to make myself a breakfast. I didn't even eat. So I'm like, let me just go to the dining hall. Let me just find food near me. And now, now I'm in Trillium Cafe, which I think is a dining hall. I'm not really sure. It looks so outdated. Like, so this is a dining hall. I feel sorry for y'all. But that's the thing. They said Cornell has some of the best dining halls. This can't be it. Guys, I do want to show everybody's Wait, ice cream. Wait, guys, can we sit it down on a table? I want to take a picture. Hey, y'all. Good morning. It's day two. The sun just got blocked by a building. Day two of orientation, and I'm lost. We had a coffee connect at 8.30. It is now 8.52. And I've been lost for, like, maybe 10, closer to 15 minutes. I... 
I missed the first bus, so I just took the next bus. And it took me to um, some other place. I don't even know. Where am I supposed to go? It took me to some other place. And then I put on the GPS and I said go to Rockefeller Hall. I think it's one of these. And yeah, late as ever. I hope there's still coffee left if they're really serving coffee and sweets. I'll be upset if there's none for me. Yesterday was a really good day. Like orientation was really good yesterday. Learned a lot, saw a lot. They gave us ice cream and pizza. And talked to a lot of people, it was really good. Look at this art monument thing. Good morning! <laughs> oh, I love it. So I am on my way to the Ithaca Farmer's Market. Um, I'm excited. I'm here with my friend Roma from my cohort. She doesn't want to be seen right now, but that is okay. <laughs> so yeah, so we're here at the Farmer's Market. We're gonna find maybe a quick bite and see what the farmer's market has to offer. It's like a big thing in Ithaca, like when you come here. Right now, I'm at Target after the, what's it called? After the farmer's market, we ended up going to a thrift store. And that thrift store is called Evergreen. It is so cool. They have a lot of gems that I wasn't really expecting for Ithaca, New York. Like, I don't know what I was expecting, but it just wasn't that. They have a lot of good stuff. If you're ever in the Ithaca, New York area, make sure to check it out. And yeah, then I just went to Five and Below. Now I'm at Target because I have to get a few more items for my bathroom before I'm like 100% comfortable in that bathroom. The farmer's market was so cute. They have a lot of good stuff, like a lot of good food. Um, we had the breakfast burritos and then we also tried some homemade lemonade as well as some um, kombucha and like this apple wine thing, fermented, fermented apple wine something. And it was good. Um, they also had like Cambodian food, Thai food, um, just just a bunch of different varieties of stuff. That was cool. It was nice. And it was right on the lake too. People were playing music. It was really good, calm, nature-esque vibe. And I feel like I'm going to get a lot of that living in Ithaca. Like everything will just be so nature-esque. So I will see y'all in a bit. <laughs> Um, Not alive. Happy. Yeah. Oh. Roma. No. <laughs> All right. Three. I don't get two.
It is the first day of grad school. So right now, I didn't even do my edges. Uh-oh. But right now, I'm on the way to class. The bus comes in um, like 10 minutes, and it's a five minute walk to the bus stop. So I just decided to turn the camera and vlog for you guys a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys the first week of grad school and how it goes. Um, today I just have one class. The time is like two, it's like two o'clock. Um, my class starts at 2.55 on Mondays. And then tomorrow, Tuesday, I have two classes or three classes. Wednesday, I have one. Two, Thursday, I have two. Friday, I have one. So very busy week. I have stuff to do for my orgs too. But we're gonna get through it. I'm really excited to see how the school year is gonna go. I already did my morning prayer. I already ate breakfast, showered, everything. We just prayed for a good semester, all A's and B's. I'm gonna meet the right people, and we're just gonna have a good time while we're doing all of that. So I'm gonna show y'all my first day of school fit a little bit later. But I just wanna get on my way to class, then I'm gonna probably go to the library and. Um, you know, do some work that I have to do tomorrow for some of my other classes. But yeah, I'm excited. It just feels so like, I don't know if it feels like I'm in school. Like, it doesn't really feel like I'm in school. I don't know how to describe it, but it's gonna be good nonetheless. I'm really excited. I just, I'm still like, I think I'm still shocked. I think that's what's going on. Like, I'm still shocked that I'm at Cornell University getting my master's. Like. Life is just going by and I'm going with it. <laughs> so yeah, but we're gonna go to the bus stop right now. I'm looking at myself in the mirror cause I look good. I'm in my bathroom right now. Um, yeah, I will see y'all when I'm in class. Bye. Okay guys, class is finally over. Um, I don't know why I was saying finally, like he didn't end it 30 minutes early. <laughs> um, that was my regression class, which is just a statistics class. And people always complain about this class. They say it's like so hard, da da da. Oh, what he does, why he likes regression, this, that, and the third. And then he let us go told us what the class is going to be about a little bit that was really it but that's my first and last class on a monday so it feels good to be out and about so early i'm on my way to the library because we have a quiz due on wednesday so i just want to get started on that Hey y'all! So the time is like 8 p.m. I'm walking home because the buses at Cornell, they're not like rockers. Like the buses be, oh my gosh. The buses stop at like 7.30, 8 p.m. And they start coming like every hour or so. And I missed the first bus because I was on the wrong side of the street. I know that I know that nigga saw me running for the bus. I missed it. So I said the next one's coming in 10 minutes. So I sat down. 10 minutes passed. 20 minutes passed. I said, let me just get up and start walking. I love Cornell. I love everything that it has to offer me. I had one class today, and that class was just an intro. Like he was just giving us an introduction about himself or whatever. Um, as I told you guys earlier, but then I'm, I'm doing the homework assignment because I realized I'm like, okay, we have a quiz or whatever due Wednesday. While I'm doing the assignment, I'm realizing I'm like, hold on, this is looking mad familiar. 
So I'm looking at it, I'm like, I low-key did this in undergrad. I took, I took, I took a statistics course at Rutgers, and this one is a regression course. So I sent him an email with my Rucker syllabus and the grade I got, I got a B. He said, oh yeah, you don't need to take this course. I said, thank you, Jesus. When I tell y'all God keeps blessing me, like over and over and over and over, I keep getting blessed. I don't know how am I so deserving of God's love. I don't know, but I'm so blessed. I thank him so much because the way people was complaining about that class. I'm hungry, so I'm about to go eat my leftovers from yesterday. Yesterday, me and my roommates went out to eat at an Indian restaurant. They're so nice and funny. And I had a good time. But yeah, after that class, I just spent time in the library. I recorded some of it. They call that library the Harry Potter Library. I'm not sure exactly why, but it definitely gives like some type of like witchcraft. I don't, was Harry, what was Harry Potter? Was he a witch? Or was he like a magician or something? I don't even know. But regardless, I'm just so grateful. A lot of things are working out in my favor and I couldn't be more happy. I got to discover the campus today a little bit too. Going to the library and stuff, so that also made me happy. But yeah. <laughs> but I will see you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Day two of life as a grad student at Cornell University. Literally in class and in a work meeting at the same time. This is life of a grad student. This is my class. And payment reform. Uh, that are in the status of the work. So if you could please reach out to Jessica uh, uh, if you want to be able to help me tonight or tomorrow. Um, so you can use my life. So that, thank you everybody. Um, because they are self-organizing um, 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 and that that has an influence on the pathway forward um, for uh, a set of questions about um, how that whole system works. How it works. the best pictures and memories. Hey, girlfriend. Wow. <laughs> It's Ty, first year MHA, along with Rachel Gifty. The Rachel Gifty. The one and only. Number, wait, what, how does it go? Top, top two ain't, on, uh, ain't number two? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Ty, stop. I love Ty Darius so much. I love him so dynamic much. Dynamic duo, like, dynamic duo. This is my bestie here. I love him so much. We're gonna have the greatest two years of our lives. I'm gonna make sure of it. Me and Ty Darius. <laughs> okay y'all so that's it for my first week of school here at Cornell University I've had an amazing week I actually just came back from the waterfalls as well as hanging out with the black yardigans, going out to eat and going to the park and just chatting up, having a great time, love them to pieces. Um, I've had an amazing week and I don't think my classes are too bad, but we'll see what happens because we do have the whole semester to go. Um, and what else? Everybody's cool so far. Um, I'm just 
going out and exploring on my own terms because I can't wait for people to explore and stuff. So might as well make it my own and just do my own thing. But it feels good to be here. Um, I'm enjoying everybody that I've met and how they say it. So I'm happy to be here and yes. Okay, y'all. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.